The boy sought passage to Avalon, but there was room for just one. Mordred was not his father's son, and took with force what did not belong. This is the untold tale of King Arthur's son. His mother's blood rushed in his heart, and turned it black, at least in part. Born wicked, they say, right from the start. His hands were cold, and his eyes were dark. Wicked he was through all his days, exposing those who caught his gaze. With a glimpse of Lancelot's lover in a haze, Mordred set the knight's whole life ablaze. Knight, oh born of Lancelot, we need you to stop. We shall work to reverse this darkness before all goes awry. God be with you. Arthur lay down with the Lady of the Lake, waiting in Avalon to fulfil his fate, that one day there would be an opening of the gate, and he'd rise again to reclaim his state. Mordred wanted this eternal life. He was the king. It was only right. So he drew his blood and asked the mage to raise his father from that watery grave. Mordred the Great, our power you've called to seek out your father and have him fooled. We command dark winds to bring his return and under his curse we shall watch him burn. His mother was never his father's wife. She told him Arthur's death shall grant eternal life. To pierce his heart with this black knife would put an end to all his strife. There were some who sought to end his reign, this soulless king they had to tame, risking death if faced with blade, but no longer safe with a king insane. The witches are preparing something. Have we got everything in place? Yes. Then we must act tonight. This is the legacy that began that night. Witches old and young use second sight. Devil's vessels engulfed in this plight. Mordred stern with feet on sand, awaiting the rise of his father's hand. Ready to strike and take his place. This is what sealed Mordred's fate. Blessed be all the earth and all its good and green. all of the earth and its good and green. Blessed be all of the earth and its good and green. History will tell you that Mordred drowned whilst drinking too many from a tavern in the town. Witches hold the truth, however false it may sound. They know how that king really lost his crown. So, gentlemen, when you're in need of a wife, ask her the tale of Mordred's plight. For if she knows the true tale, it's fair to say, there's a witch in your midst. And to her your just prey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you farewell. That's the last of the round table tales to tell. But if 
you find yourself staring at a lake. Don't stare too long. You might share the same fate. Good night.